Hi. We're doing code shift today. Uh, I don't. I will not tell you the reason why we're doing code chef, but what I can say is that code forces is not loading. So code forces is down, and unrelated fat unrelated is that today I decided to do some code chef problems. Uh, why not add coder? Because first of all, I don't feel like solving hard problems, and second is I wonder how is the quality of code chef recently. So uh, I just want to see if the problems improved. Mm. I think I will not do a lot of coding. Oh, also one thing I can show you: when I log in to code chef, it always tells me that I need to relink Facebook account and I do it by ignoring the message and just clicking here code Jeff. and this always now happens when I log in again code Jeff change after an academy how better or worse they have better coordinators right like Umnik Monogon and some strong problem setters what are the still they didn't apply my suggestions about the layout here somewhat better worse uh, both directions I see this wait challenge oh yeah the, because of cheaters they now rate the long contest only for weak division mm. this happened. The July well July is over so for sure it happened I think I will check out those two I don't care that much currently about the long challenge but let's see if tho those are worth the time also I will read maybe when code forces is up I will read the opinions of people in code forces blog about the contest which one do you want to do first cook off or lunchtime They focus on their courses. How can you say that? No regular contest. In one month, two contests only. That's not true. They have free contests. Just that to combat cheaters, uh, they it's not longer it's no longer rated for division one. Dinner time. Okay, dinner time. So we first do this. I think I want to check out Division 3 as well. So, um, for this hour, I will check out problems from here. I will Maybe I will do some coding, but mainly I want to read problems, see if I like them, think about the solution sometimes. A general link to the contest will be here. Wait. This asks which division? No, this is for division three. Oh, that's fine. We start with this, I will then move to higher divisions. Save. Link. Top cutter or code chef? I think Couchchef will be first. Couchchef is doing stuff. Top coder, I don't think so. Is there a way to open all the statements? No. Okay. ABC. We increase by A, by B, or by C. Five, find maximum value A plus B, B plus C, A plus C. That's on the easy side. I don't think it's very interesting. But such simple problems can be interesting. Let me do some table with scores. I will 
score every problem, let's say, from 1 to 5 in terms of how good it is. Does that sound fine? I want to do it here on the screen. No, that's not a good idea. Because later I might want to actually draw something to solve a problem. What do we have? Do, do, do. Jeff and Spells. Can I just call them ABCD? No, the names are short. Let alert beautiful pairs. Station longest good. XOR separation. Bad luck. Natural experimentations and ancient magic. So, first, Jeff and Spells. I think it's 2 out of 5. I, I don't like it. Am I streaming from a kid's playground? I live next to kid's playground. Just below my window. Just next to my window. There is kid's playground. I can of course close the door. But then it's hot. I actually will close the door. For the whole summer you will see kids' noises. No, of course it's annoying. Why is the camera so high? I have this cool t-shirt from Algorithmic Engagements. Red alert. So problem B in division three. Uh, this is let's, rating problems from lunchtime, July lunchtime. So everybody will know what's going on. White noise indeed. And days. Every day it can increase if by zero, then everything decreases by D. But there is one city or n cities? I thought that it would be more interesting if there were multiple cities in some way. And you would need to do some range operations. I think that this problem could be uh, made more difficult and still interesting like that. Hmm. I think it's that just statement. I don't see anything interesting about it. I see that there are n days. So you need have for loop of size n. Right, and every time either you need an if. If a greater than zero, you increase by a, you check if you exceeded h, otherwise, you decrease by d, and you exit, uh, you check if if zero was exceeded. Uh, oh, uh, the scale is out of five. This is two out of five. Rating problems, like score is from one to five. Uh, then, red alert, I would say. Is it better than spells? No. But is it a bad problem? Let's. Would I use it for division 2a in code forces? This one would be too, too easy for that slot, but this thing. Mm. 
No, the statement isn't simple enough to justify it. And it's very illogical that if water increases by one, then it doesn't decrease. In real life, it will increase by A, but always it will decrease by some kind of D. So two. I wouldn't use it as division to A. Let's continue. I should maybe change the title. What, do, sh what should the title be? Rating? Scoring? Problems? Scoring problems from Coach of Lunchtime? Please suggest me some title. I will change Twitch on, it, on Twitch. I don't want to do that coder today. Too difficult. <laughs> Coach of Troll. Nah. I want to see what Coach of is doing recently. Reviewing. Maybe reviewing is better. Reviewing Coach of problems for now like this just reviewing uh, rating coach of july lunch time and i will use the same on youtube here we go Taste tasting, maybe. Beautiful pears. Hmm. It's sad that in easy contests we need to specify that division doesn't round. Always in code forces, if you don't specify, if you don't specify it, there is a hundred questions about it, and people think that five divided by two is two. Code forces is down is down because of some power outage. Rubik, I will go through problems in order. Lunchtime now. Help Jeff find the number of beautiful pairs. What is this? Are values positive? They are. Why isn't it just that one is smaller than the other? Because of comparison between IJ? I feel like the answer will be trivial, like it, it is just some formula. Is this formula any different from just AI smaller than AJ? Let's multiply both sides by AI and AJ. We'll have AI minus AJ, that gets multiplied by, let's say, X and Y. Uh, so X minus Y multiplied by Y, smaller than minus Y multiplied by X. Yeah, x, y in both sides, so it's not a trivial. x, y minus y squared is more than x, x minus x, y. Plus y, y. Yeah, so we have the standard formula here. 0 minus 2 x, y. The right side is just something squared. This times the same. So we just want x to be different than y. I think it's sad that there is some crazy looking formula and it's, you know, boils down to this. It's sad because people will guess it. They will not do this reasoning. They will just say, well, th th this happens for ij or ji and un unless they are equal. So, meh. I'm disappointed. Now the problem is for every number counts the number of numbers not equal to this one. Sure. I don't know. S sort or use a map. Two. I'm disappointed. Because if you introduce a complicated formula with divisions, better use it. Better have a reason for that. 
I don't know what would happen if AI and AJ, well, if values AI were smaller than zero possibly, then I don't know. No five so far, yep. I might also take a look at the editorials. Array rotation. Not just one? No, it wasn't a bad problem. It wasn't that bad. Out of those, none of them deserves three out of five. Array rotation. Rotate B. Makes it graphically smallest. So you want to minimize the first element. Doesn't that define exactly? Or like there will be two possibilities, I think. There will be two possibilities for the first element of, of B. Because you know what module N that must be equal to. Am I right? If so, then this is a nice observation. It's a nice easy problem. Maybe not the nicest, but still it's fine. Three or four. I think that four is high score here. But what else do you want in an easy problem than a cute observation? Let's say it's 4. Or 3.5. 4 with a minus, maybe. 4 minus. Alejandro, you are my uh, judge. So I'm describing a solution and you tell me the score. That's convenient. Longest good segment. What was the observation? that first, because we minimize the first element, then the first element of B is unique. Actually, it would be unique if numbers were from 1 to n. Reason for not using macros. There are some contests where you cannot copy paste them. The most case segment in each of them is S. jump pointers, right? Or binary lifting. I'm surprised that there are no subtasks. This is lunchtime, right? Yeah, it's lunchtime. So should prepare for Olympiads in the long term. Uh, bin uh, okay, and what then after binary lifting? Mm. Yeah, it's easy after binary lifting. It's it's a very bad division one. Oh wait, do I need binary lifting? No, I don't because from every position I can I don't know, binary search or use two pointers to say what will be the first segment, but then kind of K minus one remaining. No, I need binary lifting. Can this be done without it? I claim we need N log. We need it? Okay. Uh, I will tell you this. This is a very bad division one problem. If this is at all, let's let's check. Uh, if this is at all in division one, it deserves a very low score. It is here. So here I would... Uh, in division one code forces, you couldn't use that. Or I'm... That's not true. It would be for sure 2 out of 5 or 1 out of 5. In Division 3 contest, though, it's perfectly fine. Or is something educational. Say, add code a regular contest or code forces educational. Maybe code forces Division 2 or 3. I think it's fine there. So, I don't know. Then 3. Good for Division 3. Bad for Division 1.
how you saw it was binary thing because it's a very standard use of binary lifting if uh, when you start from some position you will every segment make us as long as possible so always for every, for every position you can do this pre-processing how far you can reach from here and with this you make well pointers or jumps and then there is this standard problem for every position to know how far you will reach with some number of jumps that's binary lifting I should you do a at color regular along with ABC if you can solve at least two problems sure but for division one because it's too standard for me it was just you know one second after reading the statement uh, it, it's as I said it's educational maybe but for sure it already appeared or at least in a very similar form for division three i would rate it as sure four out of five not five because there isn't anything special about it xor separation xor divisible by this Finally, some subtasks. But for sure, lunchtime. If it want, if it wants to prepare for Olympiads, it should use uh, not just that those kind of lazy subtasks, but also let's say AI up to ten. Olympiad problems often have subtasks much different than n limited by smaller value. Most people in Division Three have never heard of binary lifting, though. Uh, then maybe I should say good for division two, but for division one. Regarding how to practice questions, read this guide that I wrote. Or guide. It's my answer to how to practice. K. When K is up to 50 or so, maybe 60, then we have some reasonable condition. And after that, being divisible by 2 to 60th power or so, it just means that BI should be equal to 0. So we need to split prefix with some conditions. And then every next segment needs to have XOR equal to zero. We compute prefix XORs and then it will be DP of I J where J is up to 50 or so, let's say 55. This means the number of ways to split prefix up to I with that many groups. I know what's is. I wanted to do the suffix in some special way. Let's just assume that groups uh, group 55 and onwards is the same. And so on. So from some point from DPI 55, you move to DPJ 55. Because the condition about group 55, 56 doesn't matter. So I don't care if I'm now adding 55th group or 60th group or 1000th. How do I do the prefix though? Uh, if something is supposed to be divisible by 4, 
and then I know the last bits of that previous prefix XOR. If my prefix XOR is something, and now it should be divisible by 4, then I know that those two last positions, so 0, 1, should be the same. I should have some a sum over such dp values that it ended so far, it ended before i, and it, it ends with this. And there is proper j here. So I also maintain sum over dp for every Oh, I know. dp of ij additionally when I know what's the prefix xr up to i I look at, at its last j bits and I say sum dp for this value this suffix value this is number up to 2 to 50th power of uh, j plus equal dp of ij. I think it's like this. This is the last j bits of prefix xr of i. If we do this, I think this works without log squared. Cool tag. Now, chat, is this correct or am I missing something? So far, I would estimate it, I would rate it three out of five. Also, the first problem where I needed to think. Page doesn't exist or it's private. Come on, coach. Jeff. Replace AI with suffix XORs. Suffix XORs? Not prefix? I see. There are only two options to continue. That's nice. That raises the quality of a problem from 3 to 4, for sure. I mean, at least to 4. Then temporarily I'm putting here 4. And I will think about what Maxim said. If our suffix about which we care is 0, 1, 0, and now next time we will care about one more bit over here, this bit can only be 1 or 0. We will not care about that. Maybe I should use question marks. But should I think about prefix XOR or suffix XOR? Or both will work. Anyway, I get the idea that it's not that arbitrary as I thought. I didn't really use the fact that every next thing is longer by one. We will iterate over what this question mark is, and there will be just two possibilities. I think, yeah, it's simpler than that. Why are you rating these problems? Why do we live at all? I rate it to see if Coach have improved recently. How many hours did I study? I'm sure it's answered somewhere here. I don't remember. Union of BI blah, 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 divisible by this. Every next group. 
has a stronger condition. So if oh, so the suffix needs to be this visible by this and uh, all the future suffixes. I see. Oh. If we replace the i with suffix, then what? Then we can we now choose elements. We don't choose ranges. We choose elements, the speed positions. Then choose AI as Jave step. Only if AI is divisible by two to Jave power. Is that correct? In particular, from some moment, it will need to be zero. Oh, if so, it becomes trivial. And we will just have dp of 55. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Four, then it's four or five. Still, I would go with my first solution. And I'm not sure if we should rate problems based on the nicest possible solution. If 90% of people got, get something annoying, and still they will get it accepted, and then there is this nicer way to do it. It's like nice after the contest, but it's not that after coming up with some solution that you know you will do in 10 minutes, you should always think about something better. Rating a problem, in my opinion, isn't about rating the quality of the nicest solution. Kochev problems are better for beginners. I liked Kochev a lot when I started, like 10 years ago. I remember that I liked long contests in Kochev in particular. Demotivated. If you want to do CP, then you have some reason. So you tell yourself or you tell us why you want to do CP. Four out of five, I will say. Thank you, Maxim, for telling me about the better solution. Not thank you, edit, Coach of Editorial, for saying that page not available. As you can see, today I'm not here teaching you. I'm checking out problems and also I'm streaming that. Next up, we move from Division 2 up. Let's say Division 1 to get the order. I opened Kukov, sorry. Launch time, division one. But like ancient magic, matrix permutations. Magic circle with N something. Infinite straight. Wait, what? Circle? Why would you call something a circle if it's not a circle? Chopsticks have lengths. If you place something somewhere, it casts a shadow, 45 degrees. The distances must fit in ranges. Total shadow length. Minimum and maximum value of S. Time for some drawings, I think. N greater than five in at most one test case. Oh, I thought that it's some kind of unusual constraint. Yes, CS, yes, is good for beginners. This is a perfect example of a problem where you should get some points for getting only one out of two values. It's baffling to me how Kochev doesn't think about that. 
if lunchtime is supposed to train you for Olympiads, it should use those those possibilities. Whenever you see you output two numbers, give some points for just printing one of them. Either they should say you get half the points for printing only one value, or there should be a subtask where we don't uh, judge one of those values. Statement uh, started off even more informal. It's a funny what moment. I don't like funny what moments in statements. No, no, no. That's the in contests in any contest with limited duration. You shouldn't add sentences like this. Like the and of course, we add confusion as well. I don't like it at all. And I will not try to solve it for the first time. Let's actually try a problem. There are ranges. Do I decide about the order? Is there a drawing? No. I would create a drawing here if I was the problem author. People like drawings. If the limits, let's say low equal to high equal to one, if I need to put all the chopsticks at distance one from one another, then the longest chopstick should be last, because it will add some additional shadow there. If this is if this will be a huge number, then it doesn't matter. So already we get the idea that we get maximum possible shadow if we put them as far as possible, as far away as possible, and we sort increasingly. But I think it's only important that the longest one will be last. So the max case, put them as far as possible, uh, as far away as possible, and sort by value, by height, increasingly. I think it's enough to say that the longest one should be last. And that's it. And by the way, if so, that's a nice subtask in Olympiad problem. It doesn't need to be worth plenty points. It, it's okay to give just 10 points for something like this. Now, if we minimize, if L is the low and high allowed are one, then the shortest should be last. I'm not that sure that I got it right, this maximize part. Maybe we should alternate high, low, high, low, high, low. Oh, it's wrong, by the way. Okay, I said that it might be wrong before I read your code, so it doesn't count. I wasn't wrong, I was just thinking out loud. We should minimize the intersection. That's a better way to think about it. And if I have here something very low for a long time, then very long, then I will get plenty of intersections here in this part. Starting from some point, they will start intersecting. This is 
it's not the only important thing. And interpretation with intersections might be incorrect if this guy also enters this one's territory. So the intersection area actually isn't easy to define. Should there be some command like commands? Yes, there should, and I think there is. Did you try? Excl exclamation mark commands. Can this be better in some way? Let's say that this is one. Oh yeah, that, that's a good test. Let's think that this is one, so doesn't matter much. This distance is five, five, ten, ten. And this is one. If so, this is the only optimal way to, to draw everything. This makes me think that we will sort it and then alternate between low and high. If you sort, then I think we should use order one, two, three, four, five, and so on, and then have, I know, four, five, six. Small, big, small, big, small, big. Now the question is whether I should sort those in some special way. So three should be next to six or one should be next to six. It will be this or maybe that. Three, four, two, five, one, six. I think one of those is the solution. I would also need to think whether odd case is equally easy. Odd case here it shows it suggests that the number of high elements should be by one greater and we go high low high low high. And then from this I assume that the mean case is to just source decreasingly. Like 10, 8, 4, 1. You can access a tutorial for Kochev discuss section. Kochev should fix it. It's, you shouldn't need to tell me how I can access if there is a link here. That, that, I, this one works. The previous one didn't work. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, the part about L and U in the input is stupid. I would remove it. I don't see any point in explaining that instead of saying they should be at distance K or something. It's th This part is obvious, boring. You can remove a paragraph or so and something from the input. If you have five things in the input and two of them are trivial to handle, just remove two of them. Lakshay spent six days and four hours watching me. It's good as long as you also solve problems. If you only watch me and you don't solve problems yourself, that's bad. Don't do it. Okay, I got it right. Maximum. What? Break it? What do they mean break it? So 
So that is apparently algorithm description. So we should look at value length modulo modulo u. So far I'm rating this problem 4 out of 5 because I struggle with it, so it, it's a good thing. But also there are some things that I don't like, like why would you give RU at all, or LU, and why would there be magic circle? If we need to care about length of a stick modulo the, the length, then I failed miserably, but also the editorial failed miserably to describe it. So maybe I misunderstand it. We do a step only if this happens. I, I have no idea what's going on here. It's Radosh, my brother. Why would you think that he's my brother? Proof for maximum. If we continue this group, we can move the longest to the rightest position. I agree. You can put the longest chopstick group to the rightest position. Sure. Does it only matter if something is longer than you? Title of next stream is intriguing. What's the title of next stream? I guess it's some um, like something that I use by default every week. The editorial I write very lowly for sure. But from what I've read, I will try to figure it out. We want to maximize. And there is this situation. Actually, I will draw a line at the height of u, or whatever the distance between two consecutive should be. And now we call a group something like this the last one we want to be high all of those they don't they don't matter that much they just stand there this is a group what's before the group before the group there might there might be something like this If you have that, and he reaches here, then it's optimal to swap them. So we will never have that. Wait, so only we have that? That can't be right. But I said, if this is like that, then it's good to swap them. Well, not necessarily, because this one cancels with that one. But this one gets hidden.
group group and those are single ones how much percent of higher is about algorithms i don't know you need to satisfy both you will not be accepted to a company if you are great at algorithms and you suck at not algorithms and the other way around is true too so it's not about percentages it's some it's some kind of lower level like it's some kind of threshold for both what's the solution We have remaining n minus one slots with length of u. Why length of u? Oh, the slots, they mean this. Okay. I don't understand why we repeat that n minus one times. If something is much longer than u, then we will break it multiple times. So should this be five times n? If we can break five times or four? I don't know what's happening. Priority queue. Can somebody explain to me this part? Because I don't agree that we can do n minus one steps and at the same time we can do this. This increases the number of steps. Are they saying we take something like that, we just shorter in, shorten it by u and we imagine that this step didn't happen? But if so, this means sort by value modulo u. Is that it? Coach of official. Hi, coach of official. We're intrigued that you're rating our problems. Uh, intrigued. Well, here's the rating. So, so far, XR separation was the best problem, and bad luck also seems to be good. Regarding the email, uh, yeah, I will respond to that. This is the video editorial, but it's 30 minutes long. The text I can read in three minutes, just that I don't understand the text. Maybe there is there are comments, no. Actually, maybe then video editorial is the best I can do. First, you want to cover as many full segments between consecutive sticks. Want to cover as many full segments between consecutive sticks. Hmm. So there are slots for them for the chopsticks. And there are positions between. If you have something of length two times u plus something, it will hit this region. In particular, it will kill two parts like that. Then what? I count those? I can imagine something like this, count plus equal, every length x or whatever the length was, 
xi divided by u rounded down. This way I will count full segments I can cover and the order of them doesn't matter at all. And the remaining segments, oh, I see. But the tutorial didn't say that. I think the solution is like that. For every i, count plus equal xi divided by u. This is full segments. And then, and also to some kind of vector remainders. Vector of it. Uh, we add the remainder. Now sort remainders and take of them, grab n minus count biggest of them. I think that's the solution. Of course, maximized with zero. It's that plus something happens with longest chopstick. The longest chopstick does just goes here. So I will do this for remaining n minus one. Like erase get rid of max chopstick and also add this his length to the answer then at the end the answer will be okay, count is mean of count n minus one or so times u n minus one maybe n minus two n minus one that's the number of here those slots And the answer will be u times count plus the sum of those plus the biggest that was from the beginning. The editorial, the setter solution contained priority queue. Why? else is priority Q if empty sort we reverse so we sort decreasingly we start from biggest but also here we move from the end which is confusing we cut only R from which each of them I said some bullshit, didn't I? I'm not longer sure about this. No, it's fine, is it? But if I use that guy, I need to use his remainder, don't I? I'm not sure about that. My solution is correct. Okay. Then why was there priority queue? Tester solution is more normal. Editorial sucks. Setter solution in some way sucks. Maybe. I don't know. Is C, please, please re improve this. Unless you really think that I'm in the wrong here. Now, I will see this. Hi guys, so also could you time today I'm going to do the first problem I told you for this. Uh -huh. 
I'm turning on the sound for you. From July last time, twenty twenty one division two. So this was the last problem from division two, I think. Yeah, uh, it had uh, the lowest solves, and uh, so so I think this one we can just. We wanted to. The issue with culture videos is that. People want to watch a solution to a single problem in a concise manner. I also, when I when I solve problems, I I talk a lot about them, and I would maybe also talk about this problem for half an hour uh, because I want to teach other topics too as an extra. But I feel like they don't really teach other topics. Six, nine, so. DP easier gets over. So if I don't have, know. Uh, uh, it, it's almost like I want to complain about the length of their videos, and I'm not better at that. I'm not sure about it. If if I made videos describing solutions to such a contest, I think I would try to make them short. But do I do it? When I describe old problems, is that different? What I'm basically trying to say is, every shadow uh, can be uh, said like you can say that. Every That's for sure not a mistake by uh, by video creator, by a guy who or a girl who talks about a problem. This is this should be about coach of policy about those videos. And I'm quite sure that people find those videos too long. Shadow consists of two main parts. Of just cover all of this area using just the holes. Uh, so then we will be... When you talk about solutions from the whole contest, does it ever exceed two hours? How many problems, how much time would you spend if you spent uh, 30 minutes on each separate problem? Able to do it. And uh, how to do that? So uh, it will something. Uh, it will be something like uh, let's just keep on digging the holes that we have, and uh, we don't even care about the extra. You're not officially explaining it, but what does it change that I'm not doing it officially? Why should I make it longer because it's not official? Maybe I agree with, with you, but I don't see a reason for that. And wherever this. Uh, Wherever this ends, let's take uh, more holes. And wherever that ends, let's take more holes. And uh, since we have like at least 10 minus 1 holes, that will always work. And uh, by the way, in the hole, I'm not considering this one. This is always like... Is that somebody's leg in in the background on the right? Something extra that we have. It's like, it's like a uh, cherry on top of the cake. So we, we only want to consider this this region, which has the length n minus 1 times u. So, anyway, so uh, what we can do is we can take all of the chopsticks and uh, uh, we can say like whole... Uh, Solution video is easy problem is 20 minutes. There is, I heard this advice once that editorial to every problem should be of the same length, almost. Because you always, you're creating an explanation for people who struggled with this problem. So it's not that if problem is twice more complicated, the explanation should be uh, twice longer, no. The easy explanations should be more detailed because they are for people who know less tricks. Stuff is less obvious for them. In particular, maybe very easy so solution to a very easy problem should also contain some extra explanation, uh, some extra example explanation. Uh, but Holy 20 course, minutes so for you, an easy problem indeed seems like a lot. The length mod you. So, yeah, so like this we can uh, right, uh, we, those, we are able to cover three holes. But what do we do about uh, this fourth part? So what is, uh, in, which extra should we should we choose? So we, uh, whatever vector and uh, that is how that works. Uh, like this we can take all the extra reverse sort so for answer. Meaning, well, right? if he codes the solution, that actually fully explains how it's thirty minutes. I thought that it will be thirty minutes of just explaining the solution. Anyway, so it's something like if whole is like greater than uh, n minus one, uh, let's just say whole equals n minus one, so that we don't have to write the code again. And yeah, so if we have uh, uh, these many holes, 
the answer will I wonder if they also count whole solution in case of a difficult problem. But an academy has pretty bad reputation. Oh yeah, I heard that, but it has nothing to do with the today's stream. I still can think whether their videos are of good quality and I still can hope that their videos become better. They code it regardless. So if some problem is very difficult, will it take an hour to, to code it? Now, uh, getting back to ratings, this is four or five. I don't know whether I should do five. It's not that I fully enjoyed the problem. Of course, you like the problem more when you come up with the solution. I think four. It has those obvious issues that you should improve in the statement. And so subtasks could be better. I will leave it as four. Longer explanation makes video to, uh, artificially harder. Maybe you perceive it as harder. More than one and a half hour. It happened to me to explain something for hour and a half, but it was very, very difficult problem. It's kind of understandable if it's without, if it's with code. That was bad luck. There are two remaining problems, ancient magic and matrix permutations. I will not try to solve them because they have one submission each or two. So likely I would need more than an hour and maybe even then I would fail. I wonder how people did. Contest ranks. What was the problem from a second ago? Bad luck? Bad luck indeed. Can I see the times? I don't know if I can see the times. Many people solved it. Well, then maybe I would solve it too, just I don't know how much time it would take me. I wasn't able to solve it for sure in 10 minutes. And <laughs> with editorial I couldn't solve it, but that's something else. Only from Maxim's com uh, comment I understood the solution. And that does say something. If there is some long editorial, you have no idea what's going on, and then a single short comment makes you understand means the editorial was bad. I'm talking about the written one. I didn't listen to the whole video thing. All right, ancient magic and matrix permutations. Oh, it's already 70 minutes of a stream. That was fast. I spent a lot of time in bad luck, apparently. Also, that's quite a lot of problems. This is the second last stream of this month. Uh, there is also a Friday, Thursday stream, and then I have a, at least a two-week break. Most likely I will be back to streaming in September. And stones, this point, time, and value. You can move by one forward. There is you can you can handle one player or many of them. Okay, is huge. 
for one player it should be well, simple dp dp of i will be the max score so far if we are now at uh, if we now collected i point you need to be exactly at time i I'm looking for some confirmation that you need to be exactly at that time or does it appear dead there and it is there forever if so the times don't become become not important you can wait forever that would be stupid then I assume that you need to be exactly at that time over there at time ti okay exactly at that time Fine. After one point you can get the other if the position difference doesn't exceed the time difference. We should visualize it with two dimensions, I believe. Whoa. There is time, there is x, then if this is one point, after that you can get anything in this triangle. After proper rotation of the drawing, I think what you need to do is change this into a coordinate. I believe that that means changing point tx to point t comma x plus t or something like that. Then you will simplify it and now you will be able to say that you still start at 0, 0 but this time after a point here you can take any point there. The problem becomes you're given a bunch of points and in a single path you can take ever increasing points let's say this is this can be the first path so now we can do some coordinate compression and the problem boils down to if I didn't make a mistake given a sequence of heights of every next point if they are sorted from the left choose k disjoint increasing sequences and you need to maximize the total value of taken elements duration of bad luck I think you should create a a discussion block even on code chef on forum and people will say what they think about the duration what what they would want maybe there are actually people that would enjoy something longer i don't think it's easy to do on youtube but in general it would be nice to i don't know if it would be nice some platforms they split thinking part from implementation but in YouTube it's not convenient because you would need to make two videos so it needs to be the same video what my real complaint about bad luck was that video was very different from the text and I think text was bad competitive math yeah I, I did in school actually I first did math only then I switched to programming I don't know how to solve this problem even if every value is one should I know how to do it what can it be? dp 
parametric search, so IUI aliens. What did I say about bad luck? I said that, well, statement is bad, but the problem is nice because I couldn't come up with a solution. Can somebody confirm that the problem boils down to this? Otherwise, I'm wasting my time here. The limits are small. Maybe it's square root? No, there are test cases. Actron, no need to repeat your comment. And why did you exclude D? Oh, ABC wasn't about problems, I see. Yeah. If you have any suggestions about my streams and videos, put them in YouTube comments or in Discord, in my Discord server. Otherwise, I will forget. Yeah, non-decreasing, that's a detail. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we can deal with that just by properly doing coordinate compression. You can, if ties, you can, if you want to treat ties by saying the later one is, is bigger, you can do that. So we can make the statement like that with proper coordinate compression, properly breaking ties. If this problem is solvable, then I'm I almost I'm almost sure that I saw it. It's too simple. The statement is too simple for me not to see it. I have too many years of experience not to see something like that. But I don't remember. Is there something about limits? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, some kind of cat flow. Is that a flow problem? Are what is the time limit? Time limit is big. That's a flow, isn't it? You just need to make a proper split here. So you run flow k. Oh, I need to do it for every k. But maybe that's about better understanding of flows. But maybe I can do it there is a limit for n times k, which basically means k is small. Then for every k, I will run flow from here. And now what about the edges? I think there is a way to deal with that. Like you, you do some kind of divide and conquer over those points. And For I would need a full drawing. The, the statement goes up. Okay. You draw a line in the middle. You draw edges like this. So you create a bunch of a bunch of fake points here. If I did proper coordinate compression, then there should be no ties. And also I put edges up. Actually, no, also there are edges to the, to the right. Let's try again. How to make this into a graph? To simulate the fact that we can get from any point to any point that is higher and more to the right. We draw a fake line in the middle. We connect every point to its mirror in the 
on the line. Like that. And additionally, we draw all the edges here. And this is how we guarantee that you can get from here to there if something is more like is higher on the right. And then you recursively go here and you go there. This creates a graph if you keep going recursively with this divide and conquer. There are n times log of n nodes and edges. And you run flow on this graph, which I would expect this to time out, but this graph is very specific. Maybe then flow is faster. Again, no tags. Blah, 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 flow. How is this fast enough? Log squared? Oh, no, that's from flow. that many edges oh yeah because the, we don't do iterations separately we do them smartly one by one we need to understand flows oh, yeah but i don't like i don't like how it requires knowing particular flow algorithm i would just say give me a solution for a single k to make it f work for any flow that's the sad part I think I already saw this last thing I didn't I'm not very good at flows this was this is standard I saw it many times my memory is bad and I keep forgetting when I when I thought about flows then it, it clicked. I knew how to do this, this graph. Then what's the quality of a problem? Uh, I'm surprised how few people solved it. I came up with the solution. I would need to quickly Google during a contest how to run this increasing flow. So run flow for one unit, then second unit. I don't know if that's in our ICPC library, but again, I suck at flows. If it was not a topic at which I sucked, I'm sure I would solve it and it would be fast. Uh, code aside, I don't know how annoying code is here. I will say free. It, it's very standard. Incremental flow, that makes sense. I would call it incremental flow, but don't ask me. Maxim, if you're here, you can say what's the name. Uh, don't ask me anything about flows. I don't know them. It's a you would see those problems all the time in ICPC. Maybe it's a good cook off problem, not lunchtime. Oh, yeah. IOI doesn't require flows, does it? Are there flows in IOL syllabus? Then it's even more an argument not to use it in lunchtime. Not that the problem is disqualified. They aren't saying that we, we cannot use non-IOI problems in lunchtime. It would be too difficult to, to guarantee that for a problem that you organize every month. But would be better to use it in a cook-off. Did I take shower? Well, not once in my life. Many times I took shower indeed. Matrix permutation is the last one. I'm surprised that I had actually time to solve this ancient magic. I should remember more that if a problem seems unsolvable, I should try flows. 
I should have gotten that connection in seconds, not in minutes. Will I do similar live streams? Do you want similar live streams? Are you enjoying this? It, it's not very educational. I'm just doing something and like, I'm not explaining algorithms. Bye, Tani. All right, it was buy, like to buy, like bot. Code force is better than code. Code forces is better than code because it doesn't have a fixed schedule. Code chef sucks because it needs to create contests monthly, not dependent, and that's not dependent on the quality of problems they got. Ad coder is better and code forces is better because when they have good enough problems, they create a contest. I told code chef many times that they should drop their schedule. Flows insane to code, you can copy paste to remember, you can understand what they do. K cannons. Oh yeah, um, I have this so free. And now the last problem. Now I'm thinking about those fours, whether one of them uh, or how is it called? Whether it's worth a five. Array rotation. Nah, it was too easy for this slot to get a five. XOR separation. The solution, not by me, was fine, but not that. It was fine. Bad luck. I gave it a four because I struggled with it. Okay, so I'm so far happy about my scoring. And those twos aren't just because the problem wasn't interesting to me. I tried it. I tried to judge it for this slot. But maybe also I have a bad taste in easy problems. Code versus is backup. Well, the only thing I would do in Code versus right now is I would add my stream. But what's the point? I'm finishing. I will read this statement, grab water, think about it some more, finish the stream. A cannon can hit anything within some distance, Manhattan distance. Exactly one cannon fires one ball. It's a strange way to describe this process that there are balls where they, it's more like you know, it, it gets teleported there and it stays there. We've agreed it suggests that you will actually hit the ball like that you pass through. I think you could come up with better story for this problem. Not sure. What is the future of competitive programming? I don't know. What do you mean? It will be the same as right now. Okay, so just count permutations. What's K? K is the number of cannons. Okay. The statement seems fine. I can believe that this problem is very difficult. I will not try to solve it. Uh, still, I'm getting water. I think that 
Hot coder beginner contests are indeed better than code farces because code farces already did so many contests that it cannot anymore create new standard problems. It experiments too much and it uses ad hoc problems instead of well known algorithms. I think that code farces isn't that good for beginners. Educational rounds should be better. Code versus educational, at least the first rounds. I participated in those and they were fine. Eight problems. A beginner will not get to those last problems. So it doesn't matter if it's six or eight. You're, you know, you're not a beginner. This was fourth problem originally. One versus two accepted submissions doesn't matter too much. But if initially it was fourth, it means more people tried it first. So the fact that it get all, it got only one accepted submission, it means that it's even more difficult. Maxim's comment makes me think that this problem is even more difficult to come up with. Maybe the solution is simple. Okay, then spoiler alert, I'm opening editorial. I'm not going to think about the solution. What are the subtasks? Nothing too interesting. K equal to one wouldn't be a reasonable subtask. Only one canon. Yeah, it would be. Again, very, uh, it's an obvious to make subtask, Olympiad style. I don't understand why culture doesn't does it, doesn't do it. What do we do? Mm -hmm. so will multi-source BFS and then there will be those categories of cells. And that's actually obvious. If I thought really thought about the solution, I would get it quickly for sure. You will get information. At distance zero from canons, there is some number of cells. At distance one, there is some number of cells. At distance two, there is some number of cells, and so on. Well, it may be this, and that's it. And now this becomes, I guess, a standard problem in some way. Let me think. Isn't the answer like five times twenty one times and so on? Why isn't that the answer? The number of good permutations. But then a lot of times you do that and you need to divide. Oh, the difficulty is to compute this array. I see. I was surprised that this once you have the array of how many cells are there at every distance, uh, then it's not obvious. I see. So this problem actually hides that the first part is difficult. Given a grid and some starting cells for each distance, count cells at that distance. I would say that such a statement would be very neat. I would use that statement, even though it immediately shows you what you should do. But still, this will be a difficult problem. I don't see a reason to add a story just to make this extra step of getting the product if that was so much easier. I 
add color wouldn't add this layer, unnecessary layer in this statement. I, I love the, the simpler statement here. And then it sounds like add color problem. I think we need to look at intersections of various squares, shift rotated squares, and there will be something with linear functions going on. When you look at two squares, they keep growing and then they will create some number of new cells at every next distance, but eventually they collide, they intersect a little bit. So then the number of new cells changes by a lot. I would fi first think about k equal to 2, how two squares intersect, and then would hope that this can be moved to more to bigger k. Why do I have so many tabs open? Dijkstra? Why Dijkstra? Why not BFS? Unless we want Dijkstra. What's going on? Even here they said BFS. Oh, only the cones which contain cones. Okay. We focus on columns with counts. Oh, because k is small. And then in between, it will be very irregular. It will be the same. I see. I, I love the first step here. It's great. It's a nice part of a solution. And it seems that every single step is simple. And yet the whole solution was, uh, was very hard to get. I think this is a 5, even though the statement has some unnecessary part. This unnecessary uh, part is fine. It's 5, it's the most difficult problem, I can't believe that. Ancient magic was, I would say, easy for experienced competitors. So matrix permutation is 5 out of 5. It's more like 4.6. The statement should be just compute number of cells at every distance from, from those sources. Now we're finishing. Those are my scores for lunchtime, coach of lunchtime 2021. It's not that bad. The average is be below 3.0. The force will cancel with twos. Apparently, I the average score for division three is, is low. It's below three. I would say this contest was in some way bad for lower divisions. Just that those problems were not good, easy problems. But I'm experienced, so maybe I'm judging those incorrectly. Hard to say. But those, during a contest, I would need to deal with those problems. And then this was a very nice Division 1 contest. I would recommend this to Division 1 participants. If recently all Couch of Contests are like this, then I will try to participate too. The average score here is, is like what, 3.1? Sorry, 3.8. What was the first problem? Oh, the array rota rotation was lost. That's a pity. Array rotation should be included here. Well, even still, here, that's be above 3.5. versus Eknerwala, 
Didn't I make some lockout against him? Anyway, this is it for today. Join the Discord server if you want to hang out, check out the schedule. See you again on Thursday. I will do some code forces. I don't know what or kickstart, but I think code forces. And then I will have a break for at least two weeks. Most likely just I will get back to streaming in September. Hopefully I will get back with some educational streams. I will try to make it better, not to just randomly solving problems. The stream like today was fine. It was something different. Just too many times recently I said, okay, chat suggest me problems from say lead code or code forces with this difficulty range. It was bad. I wasted time getting ideas from the chat. I chose, sometimes chose boring problems. There was chaos. I answered repeated questions. Instead, I will prepare or I will ask Discord to server to prepare problems in advance. CSS is fine to train. All right. Have a nice day or